What's happening? What is going on? Y'all already know what it is. I'm Alex. I'm on your screen. And I am trying to figure out how to get myself out of the predicament we got ourselves in last time we played some SnowRunner. And I have no idea how the hell this is going to work. So I got to get it figured out. Because currently the issue we have got going on. We come back over here and zoom in on the old map. Let's see here. The current issue we have going on is this what? right here. <coughs> oh boy. So you can see there's a truck laying on its side and uh, things are not going good. So we're going to figure that out. But geek, what's going on? DX Zach fire. Wayne, what is happening, my friends? What is going on, guys? There is, I told, did nobody listen to me yesterday? I said we are rescheduling. We're changing up when OCW is going to be. It's not going to be on Wednesdays anymore. We're changing things up with the schedule and how that works, and I've got to work out some new stuff for that, but that is, uh, that is going to be happening starting next week. I'm pretty excited about some of the ideas that I've got for that. And Paladins was going to be yesterday, but Charlie wouldn't let me stream. So you can go yell at her for that way. <laughs> Zach, what's going on? Yes, sir. This is the problem that we have uh, started out with today. And I can't do much about it. And uh, I was considering trying to do some kind of uh, crazy ass rescue mission type situation. But... Uh, I think I'm just gonna recover it and drive it back over here, use the crane, pick the uh, the damn thing up and just, just try it again. <laughs> so that is the, uh, the current idea. Such a beautiful game. This truck just, you know, relaxing sideways in the creek. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna recover it. Need to detach trailer. I don't want to detach the trailer. Well, I guess I can detach the trailer. And I can come flip the trailer back over and do the whole, uh, do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Damn it. <laughs> oh man, still got the cough going on. Still got the cough going on. But anyway, what is up, guys? DX says, uh, get a little hydration action, and we got the old Pepsi for you. Make that happen. And Geek, I did not stream yesterday. I just said uh, Charlie was, she didn't let me. But, uh,. Let's see, DX is getting a wheel for Christmas. Hell yeah, which one? And Hero says Monday Night Mayhem and Thursday Night Throwdown. We'll see. We'll see. I've still got some. I got I got stuff to figure out. I'm gonna have to do a uh I'm gonna do an overlay system similar to slide style, but much more cut down, obviously, because it doesn't need all that. Because if we're gonna do two wrestling things a week or maybe like one and like a, a short one. I, I don't know what we're going to do yet. But if we're going to do that, I, I the way I'm doing the graphics right now is a massive pain in the ass. So if I had a, uh, a, a way to programmatically like just put in what the matches are going to be and the, you know, it's shit out the graphics for me, kind of similar to how the slide style stuff works. Uh, that would be pretty damn cool. Cause I would like to have that. And then when I do that, I can have like winners graphics and stuff like that too. So whoever wins, I can just in my little program, I could just, you know, pick whoever went over and then that's, that's the whole thing. So fire says, uh, Forza horizon got rocket bunny body kits yesterday on how many cars? Cause that's pretty cool. And yeah, we'll definitely be doing more car X here, Wayne. As soon as well, I'd really like the damn update to come out on consoles. <coughs> it 
so we can do those uh, engine swaps and we can start to have a little fun with that because uh, I'm, I'm not doing the whole single player, multiplayer, different challenges, grind to get to an engine and I'm just not doing all that. Uh, I like the creativity of it, but I'm not that great of a driver and that's a, a whole lot of struggle just to swap an engine into a car and kind of mess with the tune stuff and then find out, yeah, I don't really like it or I want to do this one instead. And it's kind of like, God damn. But anyway, Zach says his question of the day, you could have a bodyguard that could also act like a boyfriend or girlfriend. Who would you choose? And what would be their most attractive feature? I mean, It would just be Charlie with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's my bodyguard. <laughs> Uh, to answer your question, uh, in the spirit that it was actually asked, uh, probably, uh, Rhea Ripley, you know, if you watch any, uh, wrestling, cause she can handle anybody's business. Oh, or Oscar. Oscar's my girl. She's cool as shit. But, uh. Have this tiny, little, little tiny, uh, especially when she's in street clothes or whatever, little tiny Asian girl just kind of standing there next to you doing the bodyguard thing. People would Your be like, contact lenses just bullshit arrived. bodyguard. 1-800 like, contacts. And then we all can't of a sudden, my look brand. that ass. I have special eyes. Look. Look. Look with your look special, with special eyes. eyes. My brand. Never get tired of that. EX says they're only paying six fifty. Comes with the stand, the seat, and everything. So you're getting the whole deal for six fifty. That's not bad. Yeah, post pictures of that thing in the Discord. DX, hell yeah, that's awesome. I miss having my wheel. Fire says twenty one cars got the Rocket Bunny kits. Hell yeah. Jay, 15 months. Dude, time is like ripping by. That is crazy. Jay, 50. My man, y'all see that number next to his name? It says number one. Jay is number one. First one. Jumped on that subscribe button, man. He hooked it up and has been here. You see it right there for 15 months or 14 months. We discovered that they start counting with one. But either way. It's so awesome, dude. We love you. Are you trying to come play some SnowRunner? I was going to uh, shoot you a message on Discord, but then I wasn't even sure because I got in the game and then I, this truck was upside down and it, it was a whole thing. And I was just like, God damn it. And I was like, I don't know if I want to ask my friends to come help clean up my bullshit. <laughs> and to have me call fall in their ear. I'll have to text George and see what he's doing. Darton says he's got a pretty looking mouse on the way. What is it? What you got coming? What it would it be? Jay is rocking that Ninja Turtle life. I got you. I got you. Hey, did you get that? Uh, did you get the job deal? What happened with the old the interview and everything? Because I believe I'm about to just be driving for a minute so we can just talk and ride. Jay got the hell yes, dude. That's fucking awesome. Like full time, like 40 hours. Like what are we, what are, or is it on like a filming schedule? What's the, yes, what's yes, the yes, word? yes, yes. Hell yes, dude. Man, I got to drive all the way the hell over here. All right. Jay, that's so sick, dude. Hell yes. First unit production services working for Universal Disney and surrounding productions. That's so awesome, dude. 
Hell yes. Hero says he's got to relearn how to drive on Car X. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's not it's not all different. I mean, you're you're gonna have to modify your vehicles up a, a good bit. But I think I just made a wrong turn. No, I didn't. I do need to like change the way I'm sitting here. There we go. You're gonna get to like do the lighting shit for NX, dude. That is ridiculous. That is so awesome, bro. You're gonna oh. Especially being there like before and after they they run shows and everything, you're gonna learn so much shit about wrestling stuff like just from being around it. That's awesome. Because like if the you know ring crew is there and they're doing their thing or whatever, you'll get to see like how they put together wrestling rings and everything like that, like how all that stuff works and. And I know they set up NXT to try to mimic the kind of the same general vibe of Raw and SmackDown as far as like the lighting and sound and, and everything like that goes. Um, so like working for the... So like working for them is like kind of the same deal as working for like Raw or SmackDown, like the traveling teams or whatever. You're just, you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Which is so, dude, that's so, so sick. But yeah, I know the ring doesn't go anywhere, but they've still got it because WWE uses real ropes. A lot of people don't know that. Um, every Everywhere else, they're the only ones. Uh, everywhere else uses uh, steel cable and you basically wrap. Some places do automotive hose. Some places do, uh, like we, we always ran just garden hose. Um, wrapped in tape and whatever, but... Uh, WWE uses real ropes, so they have to replace them uh, pretty often. Uh, and they're also, they're always swapping out their canvases and stuff like that, too. And they also have, like, the LED boards on the side of the ring now instead of, like, the ring aprons. Damn it. Suspension and bounced me all over the place. But when you swap the ropes out, there are cables underneath the ring to keep the tension on the bottom of the ring post as well as the top. So you basically, they have to kind of halfway break down the ring, sort of, to swap the ropes out. Anyway, let me get catch back up here. Kiz says, uh, oh, speaking of which, hold on with the sub, oh, Kiz, what's going on, bro? Says he only has it on console. It's all good. It's been a while. It has been a while. Dude, you haven't been around in a minute. Well, we're glad you're here. Appreciate you coming to hang out. DX says the only bad thing I'll get in a wheel is you can't get a PC for a bit. Yeah, but that's worth waiting on, though, especially if you've got a wheel that works on console and PC. You'll get to enjoy that on the console while you're uh, getting ready to get a PC. Fire, I had seen. Well, I think the one I saw was New York. I didn't know they had done L.A. That's pretty badass. But, yeah, I imagine that would take forever because they do it on, like, a one-to-one -one scale, right? As close as you can. Kids, that's so awesome. Dude, I appreciate the sub, man. I, that means a lot, dude. You guys are the best. And I'm glad y'all don't have to deal with those pesky advertisements. Don't need random people trying to sell you stuff when you come to Alex on your screen. Just Alex. That's all you need. Let me sell you shit. Buy this Walmart Xbox controller. It's it's a it's a high quality piece of hardware made by 
Hour A, which makes like all of the Walmart game peripherals. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's actually not a bad, I'm not, uh, no bullshit, it's actually not a bad controller. I've, I've been running this thing forever because y'all know I never play with controllers, so the few games that I do, Forza and SnowRunner and I think that's it. If I were playing Rocket League, I'd be playing it with this. But uh, anyway. Hero says he's been uh, playing some Call of Duty. You enjoying that one? Is it fun? Damn, fire. That's wild. Where do they get their information from? Is that, do they just like get it off Google Maps or, and just kind of clone it from there? Or what is their uh, thing? Okay, what's going on? Yeah, man, we're uh, we're gonna be rocking the new schedule next week. I've gotta I've gotta get everything sorted and finalized on that. Um, had to make a couple more little audio changes and things like that for the stream, and I got the rest of my uh, the the foam or whatever up on the up on the wall like I want. Well, it's over in it's in that corner now. Um, but that's all done. So the the finally. The new streaming room that has been hasn't been new for like probably six months now, but the streaming room is finished. Like, it's done. It's got I, I got everything that I want, where I want it, how I want it. I got my screens, they're mounted. I got my microphone stand with my, the microphone that I want, my, my keyboard, mouse, the mouse pad. I've got space. All of my desk is like open now. Got all of it. I got the cool little LED things behind the, uh, on the, on the curtain. All of it, man. This room is finally 100%. I am happy as hell with the whole deal. But we got that done. And like I said, I, I was going to take like a, a break from the stream anyway and really want to wanted to work on kind of changing up some like schedule things and some different things I wanted to do. And especially working around with wrestling being on the weekends now, I might stream. I might start streaming on the weekends um, after wrestling training um, and take some days during the week to do the catering stuff. Um, but that would be on more of a floating schedule because I don't find out what days that are, you know, they need people until like the week of or the week before. So it's just going to be a fuck, little bit different. Fuck, 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 right? fuck, oh. <laughs> oh. Exactly. DX says he's already got VR. Oh, you've got a VR headset too, so you're gonna have the full like setup with the seat, the wheel, pedals, everything, and you've got a VR headset. Hell yes, dude. Only time I ever got to do that, I got to run like the wheel and pedal setup with a VR headset on uh, like Project Cars or something like that. I got to run an Indy car race, uh, which was pretty damn cool. Uh, I like that a lot. I would like to do uh, eye racing with a setup like that, but Wayne says the room is not complete. It needs a baby crib and a, a milk shelf. The hell is a milk shelf? No babies, zero babies uh, forever. No babies. There's nowhere for a crib. It would have to go right there. That's like the only open space in the floor. It's right here. It's taking forever to drive up to this place, man. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out and watch me. Well, y'all, well, truly, y'all came to watch me fail repeatedly at, at trying to haul things places through the mud. <laughs> Let's say we are we are just hanging out. It's a it's a chill night tonight. Kind of like last night, just hanging out. Clap! 
for your world famous five times champs and feel the power is cooking. I didn't know those took the same amount of time. Uh, <laughs> I like how y'all try to combine those. I've got I've got to do the uh, sound effects and stuff too. Damn, that was annoying. But I'm gonna change up the way that that works a little bit too. I got I got lots of ideas floating around at one time. But finally, not sick anymore. I've still got the cough or whatever, but. Made it to Drummond Island, so now we can go see if we can figure this thing out. But, yep, we're going to change up the schedule just a touch. I'm going to try to stream more during the week as well, too. Things got a little hectic, especially with wrestling coming back around and everything like that going on. And There's just a lot happening or whatever, so... Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. So now it's like really time to get focused back in on the stream and what games we're going to play when we're going to play them. Try to because I try to schedule it out. So that way, if anybody wants to play any games with us, they can, you know, join in because you guys know we want as many people to join in as possible. All right. So I just got to drive straight down this road here. Let's get rid of this. Get us drive straight down this road to this point and make a right. So I'll just kind of put this little guy right here. Then we'll get that stuff up out of here. Oh, geek, there's a whole, it's like a whole story mode or whatever. Yeah, you've got a, so like on the maps and everything like that, like this bridge Right here, you can see all these trucks that me and uh, me and George have parked in this one area right here. Uh, we built this bridge, like we brought the materials over, and then the game puts the bridge together and everything for you. But yeah, that's uh, this like town in Michigan. There was like a really bad storm, and you could see all of this flooding and everything, and it like destroyed a bunch of bridges and roads, and there's trees down, and there's mud everywhere, and it's this big mess. So you're like going around and like building and doing stuff. Meanwhile, you're getting paid to do jobs. You can buy new trucks, you can move forward. And then there's, and this is just the first map. Um, so of course the, uh, in Michigan, you've got these, the four parts of the one big, the overall map. But I mean, you can see there's Alaska, Tam Tamir, it's in Russia. Kola Peninsula, the Yukon, Wisconsin, and Moor, Don, Maine, Tennessee, the Everglades. All this stuff. This stuff is all DLC stuff, I think, but. But yeah, it's a whole the whole thing. And they've got all these different trucks you can get and upgrade and customize the whole deal. But yeah, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty badass little game. I, I enjoy it very much. The physics are pretty awesome. The visuals are incredible. The game's beautiful. But I mean, it's a fun little challenge. It gets a little grindy from time to time, but it's not too, too bad. What's up, buddy? What's going on, my friend? How have you been? 
with the resub too, man. That's so awesome. I appreciate all because you guys. Because they're wild, yeah. Yeah, Blaze is wild. Oh, yeah. I've been riding around in two-wheel drive this whole time. Let's see, so we've got to come down here. And then we're gonna see if we can't figure this thing out. And we gotta do it by ourselves, man. It's just us. Just me and this one truck. This is a damn good truck, man. This little thing will do the work. Service trailer right there might be useful later on. I think George might have left that there. Blaze still been working on the truck. Hell yeah. <coughs> what all did you end up getting done to it? when you took it to a better shop than that last place man good grief i'm still mad about that it's not even my truck and i'm mad about that shit <laughs> all right there's the big mess we made now we got to be very careful in how we approach this here my first thought is to get the trailer second i'm thinking about trying to drag well what if we put the we might be able to put the load onto the trailer without ever hooking the trailer up to the truck. Like, pull the trailer over with the crane or whatever. And then take the truck around, put the, uh, the load on the trailer, then back the truck up to it, hook it up, pack it down, and get the hell out. I think that's what we're going to do. But I want to pull them over here closer to dry land so I don't screw up and get stuck in the mud or something. All right, so we got that to stand up. Oh, stay, stay, stay. There you go. All right, so we got that stood up. So now we've got to grab the load, drag it over to us here, and then use the crane to get it up onto the trailer. Look at that. We're doing all right here. We just got a pre-plan. We cannot grab it. Why can we not grab it? What the hell? Why is there no way to grab the damn... Do I have to get it with the crane? I have to get it with the crane. Remember how to do my damn controls here. Here she comes. All right, we're trying here. All right, we dragged it back to us here, so let's try. It's 
the same thing again. All right, we backed it up. We put our anchor down. Zach says firmly, grasp it. <laughs> I am grasping as firmly as possible. Okay, all right, all right. Now the problem is I don't think this crane has got enough oomph to get this thing up onto the back of this truck. It does not. Now, I'm going to try to do something stupid and pivot it off the front of the truck here. Holy shit, that's working. Okay. Uh... <laughs> that, that, that wasn't the, the worst in the world. Okay, we might be we might be getting somewhere here. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What the f is Twitch? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Catch back up with what Blaze was talking about with this truck. Hell yeah, I got that shit on there. The other Alex! Bro! What's going on, man? We still haven't played Counter-Strike yet. What's happening, dude? And with the sub, come on. Heavy Z, what's happening? Welcome, my friend. What's going on? We have got, we got to play some Counter-Strike right now. I see, I, I know I'm the same way. Dude, I was sick all last week. I, I still got like the lingering cough or whatever, but I am uh, finally, finally back. There it is, there it is up on there with the explosion what's going on man how have you been i bet you've been playing uh call of duty that's that's gonna be my guess oh thank you my friend thank you thank you been doing my thing got the uh got the new microphone and stuff hooked up pretty happy with that Oh, that's right. I was supposed to be catching up with what Blaze was talking about with the truck. Let me... All right. We got the trailer attack. No, no, no. Not in reverse. Not in reverse. <laughs> I almost ruined all the hard work. <laughs> all right. Let's get this thing up here and parked. And then we're going to talk for a minute. Hold on. We... <laughs> this has been a struggle. We're going to get this bad boy up here. Oh, I forgot to do the uh, at cargo. There we go. Why did I put it on the back of the trailer and not the front of the trailer? Is that that's like exactly how you don't want that? Maybe if I unpack the cargo, get some speed up, slam on the brakes, it'll slide to the front, then repack it. All right, we're gonna set the parking brake right here. We're gonna let's turn the truck off so we're not wasting any gas. Now let me get back up to date with my boys. Huh. <laughs> 
Oh, Sugar said he's been playing with a little, little bit of a uh, bit of multiplayer Call of Duty with Heavy Z. Okay, I got you. So you took a week off gaming in time. Well, I kind of un inadvertently did too because I was like on the couch from like Monday till Thursday of last week. It was terrible. All right, catch back up with Blaze earlier. Sorry, I, just, gotta, I was hooking up the crane. Let's see. Took off a turbo. Need more calling parts right here for those. A camshaft turbo headers, better muffler. Okay, damn, you're doing all kinds of stuff. Is nitrous normal on a truck? I mean, not really, but if that's what you want to do, Blaze, have at it, dude. <laughs> DX. Anyway, ah, yeah, so it was all okay, good, wasn't bad. It was just, I mean, it was like that. We assume it was the flu. It wasn't COVID. We did, we got COVID tests or whatever. It wasn't COVID, so we're guessing it was the flu. Don't know where it came from. And I'm back into wrestling stuff again. I don't know if you were around for that information, but I finally was able to get back to doing wrestling stuff and everything like that. And I had a match, not this past Saturday, but Saturday before that. And me and my buddy that I, you know, trained with and everything like that, we had the match. He was sick the whole week, too. And it just so happened I kind of accidentally gave him a concussion during our match. And I feel horrible about it. But, uh, yeah, so he had the flu and a concussion at the same time the whole time. And he has been giving me shit about it, boy. I. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a uh, it was an interesting one. But but, yeah, I didn't get on my computer for like four or five days. White Death, what's going on? Welcome. We're talking about all kinds of randomness right here. I'm not even really actually playing the game. I need to get back to... All right, so I know I need to go this way, and then, honestly, once I get there, I know where the hell I'm at, so that's good. What? You're good, Alex, bro. Come on. I was talking with... Uh, I'm talking about White Death here. He's, he came to see some snow runner, and he we're playing talk runner. We're playing mouth runner. That's what, that's what I'm best at. I was just saying, I need to talk and drive at the same time. Ain't no need for me not to. But no, nah, man, we gotta. We have got to get back on some Counter-Strike soon. I have been watching the majors. I have been enjoying, enjoying the hell out of that. That has been fun as shit to watch. Watching uh, FaZe take a free Rio vacation is one of the funniest things I think I've ever seen. Uh. Mayhem's here too. What's up, man? What's going on? Yeah, sorry, I only I could only stop by for a little bit. Had some stuff to take care of around the house where I was able to get streamed, but I will definitely be hanging out with you guys more often as soon as I am available too. Oh yeah, dude, the the fans there are insane. It is so much fun to watch. The last game I just watched, I think I watched like the second round of the legend stage. So I'm like a good ways behind. I need to get back to, uh, get back up to speed on that. I already know this thing is gonna wanna, just don't flip over again, good grief. Yeah, it's been, uh, there has been some, some crazy ass games and some comebacks, man. It has been the most CT sided tournament I think I've ever seen in my life. You have guys go into the half 12 to three and come back and win the game. And that happened like, like a handful of times just that I saw it's craziness. But yeah, you guys, Mayhem is over there playing some uh, Dead by Daylight earlier. I went and checked that out. Y'all know Charlie, of course, is playing that right now. <laughs> Always playing that. That game gives me stress just watching it. I can't imagine playing it. I don't know how y'all do it. I say that, but when I was talking about uh, looking back at, you know, changing up some schedule stuff and everything for the stream, I was kind of thinking about doing a run through of uh, Alien Isolation. <laughs> Just so y'all can watch me piss myself. 
But the last time I played that was back when I had my 580. So now that I've got the uh, 6600, that should uh, that game should run a little smoother. All right, we are finally on track to get this thing over here. Yeah, but if you guys haven't had a chance to uh, check out any professional Counter Strike play, because you know we're always I'm always talking about uh, always talking about some Counter Strike. Um, come on, truck, work with me. But if you want to, uh, if you haven't experienced professional play Counter Strike, you have got to like just look up ESL on uh, here on Twitch. They've been that's it's it might be on right now. Um, but man, it's they are playing in uh, Rio de Janeiro, and it is just the the crowds are unbelievable. Like you know how those people down there are in South America are with like soccer and stuff. Anyway, like the sports in general, they go off. These people are absolutely nuts for some Counter Strike. It has been so much fun to watch. But if you have never experienced professional Counter-Strike, that is a great first way to experience it for sure. There's been some crazy games. And there's no real way of knowing the winners because, like, the top-rated teams in the world are not playing that well. And it is... Uh, <coughs> it is It has been interesting, that is for sure. And even not knowing the game, if you don't know Counter-Strike that well, watching these guys play, you'll know why they're the best in the world. They're, it's just unreal, some of the shit that they do. And even if you don't know the maps or anything like that, it's you, you can pick it up pretty quickly. And all of the, uh, the top casters of Pro CS events are just absolutely, I think they're the best of the best at their jobs out of all esports. Um, Honestly, I prefer listening to some of them over actual sports commentators. Um, especially Scrawny and Launders. They're my, they are by far my favorites. Scrawny is like my spirit animal. Uh, It says Half-Life 2 every year. Oh, dude, we played, uh, I don't know if you came by and saw, but we did um, Black Mesa because uh, Jay was nice enough to give me that. And, of course, I had gotten, I had Black Mesa back when it was like a, a mod project before it was like its own official game or whatever. So you could just like download it. It was free uh, I way back then. And like I played it. So I was like, oh, this is super cool. I'm glad they're working on this, whatever. And then I forgot about it for like six years. Forgot it even exists. And Jay with Jay played it and he was like, yo, Alex has to play this. So he hooked me up with the copy of it, and I appreciate him so much for that. And uh, dude, holy shit. It is so awesome. Like it's not just a like a redo, like it's a it's Oh, it's so good. I can't I don't even want to describe it to you, I just want you to play it. Because I mean if you played the first Half-Life, I mean obviously it's the same game. But some of the stuff that they did differently and the, some of the story stuff that they added, they, and of course they like added some people in from like Half-Life 2 that were obviously very important in Half-Life 2 and all the games after that, um, that weren't in the first game. They kind of like backported those people in like, oh, they were at Black Mesa the whole time. You know, they were always there, but you just never saw them. Well, now you actually see them. Uh, and it's really cool that they did that. And with the way that the end of the game is, um, you just end the first game and you can drop right into Half-Life 2, which I also considered doing. And then, because that was like a week or two ago. It was like right before I got sick and everything like that. So, I mean, all the slide style stuff going on and whatnot, things kind of got in the way and wrestling and everything like that. Shit got crazy on me there for a little bit. But uh, we might do Half-Life. Uh, we I'll have to put a poll up on Discord because I I'm thinking about doing Half-Life 2 since we did Black Mesa. Uh, now that they have FSR 2.1 out and another big update came out for Cyberpunk, I'm kind of thinking about messing with that because um, I want to have a single player game that's like a chill night where we just hang out and I'm playing the game or whatever and we talk about stuff and just chill. 
Uh, we're definitely going to be doing um, more like SnowRunner, Car X, you know, Forza game, like with uh, Firestock about Forza, like games that we can all play together, stuff like that. Uh, definitely going to be doing more of that. I'm about to run the hell out of gas. I need to drop this shit off. All right, I'm going to go in here to the left. And then, like I said, alien isolation as well. <coughs> All stuck here. I'm a good driver. I'm gonna take out their sign. Look, look, look. Ah, <laughs> that sign out of here. We don't like signs. All right, I'm gonna park this shit right here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing next. Fire says they updated FSR on Forza yesterday. Well, that's good. I wish that you could, like, upscale and use FSR. I'm sure there's a way to do it. But I hate that, like, I, because my screen is, you know, 1920 by 1080, because um, I wasn't super concerned about going higher than that resolution-wise or anything like that um, at the time. I might upgrade one day, but I'm not, it's not a big deal to me. Um... I preferred the higher, uh, the higher refresh and response rate and everything like that. Um, and it was just, it, it was still, when I bought this screen, it was still pretty damn expensive to go like 1440p or something like that. And at 165 Hertz, um, it was, those were still like four or $500 screens. And I was like, eh, I could get all those features at 1080 for like 250 bucks. Uh, it might've even been less than that. Also, I didn't pay for it because my mom got me this shit for Christmas, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't see the uh, benefit, especially with the video card I had at the time as well with the 580 and everything. I didn't really see the benefit of going higher than 1080. So now with all this FSR stuff, it would be super cool to have a higher resolution screen, render the game at lower and then do the upscaling stuff and whatever to kind of get the cool visuals out of it. But I don't know. It is what it is. Because it works when you're going like above 1080. If you go from like 720 to 1080 with FSR, it's just there's not enough pixel information there for the algorithm to work with, you know? All right, I have to get oil barrels from over there. Where the hell am I taking them? So I can't do shit until I get this one done. Man, it might be about time to move on to the next damn map. I'm getting about tired of all this shit. I'll come back to this stuff, man. I want to go drive around in the snow. I think I'm going to take this truck with me. So I'm going to stick this trailer 
I'm gonna stick this trailer by like the loading dock right here. I feel like that's an appropriate place for it. Keep forgetting I'm in for friends. There we go. Drop the trailer off. Looking nice and pretty. We will recover this bitch to the garage. Mission complete. Now we're going to uh, wherever the hell we're going. Hell yeah, let's probably definitely, definitely some Counter Strike soon. That's something that I want to do on stream again. Is I want to get back to playing Counter Strike, uh, be it on Face It or just regular matchmaking, whatever. Um, but I definitely want to get back to playing Counter Strike and talking about that, and maybe getting some uh, some of these guys to join in and play with us. Wayne's got him a PC now, man. CS free to play, baby. We can get you. Uh, I can get you trained up. I can teach you the ways, man. I'm sending me. That's actually super awesome. So, all right. So real quick, my, uh, my mom, she's, uh, went to a thing. Uh, it's old, old, old church thing or whatever. Uh, cause I used to go to church when I was younger not really my thing anymore, whatever, really not my family's thing, whatever, but we used to go, but grew up going there. Of course, my, my grandparents on both sides of my family are like, at like second generation. I don't know, but my family like established this church, like in local to where I am, like 150, 200 years ago. Like, you you go through all the history of the place and everything like that, the building and all the, we've got the old pictures and everything of like my grandparents and their grandparents and all this, this whole thing. Right. So of course, when I was younger, I went to like preschool at the church and then like Sunday school and everything, the whole, the whole deal or whatever. But there were these two people that were like my Sunday school teachers and everything like that. were super cool growing up, but uh, it's, apparently they are still doing well. They're still healthy. My mom just sent me a picture she saw. So this is Mr. And Miss Connor. If it'll focus in, I don't know if it's going to focus in, but they, they were like my, my Sunday school teachers and everything like that. But uh, even outside of all the, uh, the churchy Jesus stuff, you know, whatever, uh, absolutely amazing people. They're those kind of people you, uh, you know how you just get around somebody, even though you might not know them very well, you meet somebody and like, there's just like this, this positive aura around them. They're just a good person. You know it. It doesn't matter what they say, what they do. You just know. They just exude love. Like, these are those people, man. And they, they treated me and my sister with, like, even though we were, like, six, seven years old or whatever, they treated us like we were, you know, adults just like them or whatever. You know, they, they didn't treat us like little kids. And it was... One of the first times in both me and my sister's life that we ever experienced that, you know, not being treated like kids, they just treated us like anybody else. And it was like so cool and like to learn so much from them and, you know, Sunday school class and everything like that. But of course, about the religion stuff and all that. and eh. But just like regular life shit, man, like super, super cool. But I'm so glad to see because they're I don't know how old they are, but they're pretty damn old, brother. <laughs> Cause I'm 30 now. Like we're talking about like these people were old when I was 10. So now, now they're 20 years older than that. Like, uh, but yeah, that's, that's really cool that, uh, mom got to see them and hang out with them. So hopefully I can get to see them soon. It's been a long time. But anyway, sorry, whenever I don't like to look at my phone and stuff when I'm, uh, streaming and whatnot I try to do because i'm focused i'm doing this but uh when i get a text from my mom i always got to look and make sure so that was super cool man i'm super hype about that 
Fire says he hasn't played CSGO in like three months. We'll get, you know what we need to do? We need to get the, uh, I need to like store this. There we go. Ah, dude, exactly. I have a very small number of teachers that I even remember from school. Uh, Mr. Breslin was one. Mr. White was one. Ms. Esser was really cool. She got married, so her name changed. My German teacher, Frau Pesch, she was really cool. Uh, I was horrible. Uh, not to her, but, like, I I didn't. I It was bad, uh, especially senior year. We talked about that on stream before, but the only reason I took that class was, like, to hang out with two of the girls that were in the class. Uh, and I didn't need a fourth credit of foreign language to graduate. And she knew that I knew that. So I think I finished the year with a 13 was like my grade was a 13. <laughs> she would come ask me. She was like, uh, do you want to take this quiz or you just want to go to sleep? Like, <laughs> Cause I wasn't like disrupting the class or talking or anything like that. Like I, I did my thing. I mind my own business and I didn't stop anybody else from learning. Uh, and I mean, I know it wasn't the coolest thing that like she's there trying to do her job. She's trying to teach, you know, and there I am just like sleeping through class and shit like that. But I think she I, she knew why I was there. And uh, like I said, I didn't disrupt or anything like that. And I would help her out if she ever. Hey, you need somebody to run to the office to take whatever. Like, uh, you know, so I always did that kind of shit. So it worked out cool. But like she was super cool for that. So, I was, yeah, there's definitely some teachers that were. uh that were really cool with me back in school and everything like that. But me and my sister talk about it all the time. We were so lucky just in general with our everything involving school for us. <coughs> Sorry, I keep coughing in y'all's ear. You're damn right, Wayne. That is exactly, that is exactly right. <laughs> Let's go to Alaska, man. I don't know what's going on over here. Let's go to Alaska. Your group members, we moved to the chosen region. Well, nobody's here, so it's just... It's just me. I think if there was any teacher that I would want to see from school that, like, would, A, genuinely be excited to see me, remember me, and give a shit about, like, my life and what's been going on would be Mr. Breslin. He was my... uh my tech drawing teacher so like architecture and engineering design like drawing stuff with like autocad and everything like that but for the first two years three years we learned that shit pen and paper like using the drawing tools and everything like that like we learned how to do it legit for real before we ever started doing the autocad stuff um i actually have a you couldn't quite build a house from it but i have like blueprints of a house that I designed in my architecture class. It was like our final project for the year was to like do the, well, I take that back. You could have built it. Um, it's not like a modern blueprint that has all of this crazy information, but like if you were going to build a house in like 1965, like this, these are the blueprints that the contractors would have had like straight up. Uh, we did them with pen. So we did all of our drawing on pencil, did the tracing paper and then traced it with pen, like a Sharpie. If you fucked up, you had to restart the whole page. Craziness. And then run it through the blueprint machine with, like, the ammonia. It smelled. It was like death. It was so bad. But, uh, yeah, he was my teacher for that class, and he was always – because he knew I was doing the programming stuff. Like, that's at that point when I was a senior, uh, he knew that that's what I was doing, and it pissed him off. He was like, you're too good. He was like, you should like, he was like, why don't you like apply to like Virginia Tech to do engineering and whatever? And I was like, uh, first of all, my grades suck ass for that. And second of all, no, <laughs> I don't want to. I do. I write code like that's what I do. And he was just like, nah, fuck all that. <laughs> but um. I think he would be super, super excited to hear about all the stuff that I did with, like, programming and everything after school, and then, like, to hear that I'm not doing that anymore, and, like, doing the streaming stuff and everything, he'd be like, what the fuck? And he would lose his shit 
to find out, like, out of all the students he had and everything like that, that I went out and fucking trained to do professional wrestling. He would love every little bit of that. And he would make fun of me. Oh, my God. See, that was the other thing. He, that's the only teacher that ever hit me. Ever. In the entire time I was in school, that's the only teacher that ever laid a hand on me. Because when we first started using AutoCAD, bro, we first started using AutoCAD. And we, I was messing with it, the 3D and everything like that. The first thing that I did was I drew a, three, a 3D set of boobs <laughs> with details, color, details i mean they look like cartoon they look like they're on the simpsons but i drew a 3d set of boobs and i don't know if y'all have ever watched ncis when uh when, when gibbs will walk up behind denozo and smack him in the back of the head but i'm drawing these boobs and i'm focused right i'm in there i'm like focusing in i'm doing my thing and all of a sudden i smacked in the back of the head he said delete that shit right now but like he was laughing like because you know like i was in trouble i wasn't supposed to do that shit but he was laughing his ass off man it was so funny charlie why is there a charlie that's not good why is there a charlie in my chat what happened to uh what happened to dead by daylight We'll drive this little guy around. Do some exploring around the map since we haven't done that. I haven't discovered anything on this map. Yeah, let's drive around. See what we can find here. We're in Alaska. You're losing, so? Isn't that fun, though? So you're just, you're not streaming anymore? Dude, check out this little, this little, like, off-road trail that goes down this way. Charlie's streaming, but she's over here hanging out. Wait, if you pulled up my stream, or are you on your phone? I was say, if you pulled up the stream while you're streaming, that means I'm now on your stream. The audio of me is on your stream. Well, if I'm muted, then how are you responding to me? I'm so confused. Wolf grip. Oh, so she's trying to get them channel points. Yogi! Yogi! What's up, man? Thank you for the bitch. You're so sweet. Yogi's always sharing the love. I finally have found some snow in SnowRunner. We are in Alaska. I am driving my little truck around. I'm going to go up this little mud road right here. But we are going through the snow in SnowRunner. We're, we're running these signs over. We don't need no yield sign. But what's up, man? Charlie said y'all are having some fun. She is quite amazing. I will completely agree with that. Oh, we're getting in some snow now. <laughs> All right, have fun, baby. Y'all have a good time. Appreciate you for coming to hang out for a minute. All 
right, there we go. Watchtower open. <coughs> so now we can see. Maybe make our way over to the other watchtower. We'll come over to this one next. That's what we're going to do, man. We're just going to do some exploring right here. So I talked about it on stream before, but for those of you that are just hanging out, might be your uh, first time hearing about it. In that tech drawing class that I had in high school, our final project, which starts halfway, like, with like a whole semester left of the year, is how they would do this. Um, our project, and I was, of course, in this class for, you know, four years. So this is my senior year. I got to see all of the other senior year classes' final projects. Theirs were not as cool as ours. We got to make... If this we got a grade for this shit like we got to do this for fun and like we got graded on we literally we got a grade not for how successful it was but just like if we were able to complete it which of course we did because it was fucking awesome i got to build a trebuchet like a medieval style like to thro throw throw they would throw boulders and shit with it i got to build one of those <coughs> And there are little contests because it was four of us in the that, that were seniors in the class, the advanced drawing class or whatever. So it's two teams of two, and uh, there were only two of us that were there that were like actually doing the project on you know opposite teams or whatever. So uh, my partner was Mike, and Mike knew to just sit down, shut the fuck up, and let me do it because he wasn't. It wasn't his deal. He just took the class just because he had another, you know, what do you call it? He had an extra class that he needed to fill on his uh, schedule for the year. And he needed another elective or whatever, and he had done the other three years. Why not finish out the four? Uh, but he was just kind of just there to get a grade. He was just trying to graduate. He didn't care about the class at all you know whatever same as me with my german class he was me he used that as a sleeping period uh so i basically by myself got to design develop and build a trebuchet uh the other team was josh and devin i can't I think it was devin and they were both like pretty interested but josh was more worried about football he ended up getting a scholarship and he went to virginia tech to play football so devin is the one that got to like build the other team's thing while josh just kind of fucked around and didn't really pay attention in class or anything so the uh the contest was on or whatever uh but i ended up kind of sort of figuring out a backwards ass way to cheat because of course a trebuchet uses a counterweight on an arm to throw whatever is you know whatever weight it's supposed to be throwing and a catapult uses tension you know like a crossbow think of like that like a big ass crossbow that's a catapult uses tension and then throws whatever i figured out on accident how to apply tension to a traditional uh trebuchet setup I wish I still had the video to show you all this fucking thing. And I had it up until two years ago. I finally broke it down for the wood. Uh, <laughs> this bitch was, when it stood like locked and loaded or whatever, it was seven feet tall. The arm was 12 feet long. Or no, it was 12. I don't know. The arm was like, <laughs> I think maybe 10 feet long, something like that. It had 80 pounds. Ah, I can't go this way. Got to build a bridge. All right, well, at least we discovered that. I should be able to get over here by going back to this road and down around the creek. It had 80 pounds worth of weights as the counterweight. And, of course, we're just throwing, like, a baseball or something, or a tennis ball, right? Had 80 pounds worth of counterweight on the end of a 12-foot arm, so you can just guess how much energy it had when we pulled the pin on it. That bitch let go, right? 
But the problem was that we found out very quickly, I had a cross member in the middle of it to, as part of the structural stability of the entire thing. Uh, when the arm whipped around, it about broke through the two by four that I had as a cross member going across the middle of the, the two sides. Not good. So I was like, damn, what can we do to stop that from happening? So I messed with some things and whatever, and I ended up, I got a bunch of fucking like heavy duty bungee cords. And we ended up putting, I think we calculated it out because we used like a weird scale thing. And we calculated that we added 120 pounds of tension force to the 80 pounds of weight that was already on it uh, in bungee cords. That also worked as a break. This son of a bitch, you'd pull the, you'd, you'd put the ball in it on a little track. You know, it's like the strings and it's attached to the end of the arm. The arm's gonna whip around, whatever. You would pull the pin on this son of a bitch. It would whip around, throw the ball. The bungee cords would catch. The free weights would kind of make their furthest point or whatever. That thing would snap back and stop standing vertical with the arms straight up in the air in 0 0.8 seconds. If you just so happen to like be in the way of this process, this thing would kill you. It was fucking unreal, dude. I, I am so, to this day, is one of my most proudest accomplishments in my entire life. <laughs> that son of a bitch would throw a tennis ball or a baseball, because we found out the tennis ball was so light, it actually slowed down in the air and went the same distance as the baseball, which was heavier, so which carried more mass, but they ended up going like roundabouts the same difference, distance. We could throw a, a, like a tennis ball 350, 400 yards. And I think if we actually had the time to spend on like tweaking on like the rope length and stuff like that, we could probably have thrown it further because the thing just had an ungodly amount of power. <coughs> but it was uh, it was pretty sick. So that was what I got to do uh, senior year in that class. I'm stuck in the snow. Cruz, what's going on, buddy? I am, I am currently uh, stuck in the in the powder here in Alaska. We're going on this. Finally, I'm in some snow on SnowRunner, so I'm making my way around, uh, catching the watchtowers so I can see what's on the map. I've already found one bridge that needs to be reconstructed. But this little thing here is uh, not enjoying the deep snow here. Cruising's making some liveries over on Car X. Hell yeah. I, I can't wait for that update to come out to like consoles and everything like that, man. Mostly because I really want the DLC to kick in so that I don't have to unlock the engine swaps. <laughs> I just want to build cars with crazy engine packages and suspension setups and whatever for drifting. That's it. That's all I want to do. I can't wait till they add more in the future too. No matter what, I always want them to add new maps. That's like always my main priority for that. But like if they keep adding engines that we can swap into other cars out, that would be so, so cool. Oh, hell yeah, Cruz. We were playing it uh, the other night, man. <laughs> the PC beta. It's so, it's really, really cool the way it works. I'm a huge fan. I mean, outside, I mean, everybody is, of course, excited about the engine swaps and new cars and everything like that, but the physics model changes are enormous. Like, it's the cars, they act completely differently. 
it's so so awesome i love it i feel like it's i've never driven a drift car before but just the way that the car seems to react uh both with the tire grip body roll the suspension travel everything like that it feels more realistic to me uh which works in my favor because the way my brain kind of thinks you know if i feel like the car needs tuning adjustments or whatever sometimes it's kind of hard for me because things don't necessarily work exactly like they would in real life not that i'm some type of mechanic in real life but i have a decent understanding from the race cars that i used to work on stuff so like you know i think oh well if it's doing this if i make this adjustment this should happen but it's a video game so that doesn't always happen it's kind of the same thing with forza i think oh well i need more grip in this situation and blah blah, blah so i'll make this change this change this change does not work uh because the way that they apply physics is slightly different and also a lot of the uh game racing tuning stuff that i know and you know just have in my head is from iRacing well not every game engine is iRacing so uh But anyway, I just feel like the uh, the suspension, the way everything works in car and everything is even more accurate than it was before. <laughs> it's still the only game I've ever played where like, if you change the ride heights by an inch, you literally look at the car gonna jack itself up by an inch. And like when you change the camber and caster and everything like that, it does it all in real time. There, Name me another racing game that does that. How better to for anybody to learn like, race car mechanical type shit than to play car x if you're like man i don't understand what is camber caster toe all these steering adjustments everything like that what are they i don't understand you don't even need to look up like a youtube tutorial video or anything like that literally look at the tires and make the adjustments and watch what happens like with toe you can watch the tires doing this it is so freaking cool like I love it, love it, love it. I wish there was a NASCAR game. I wish the guys that make Car X would make a stock car racing game. It would be so sick. And yeah, exactly, Cruz. Of course, those are the uh, the engines that you get. All right, got a new task here. Right, White? Exactly, dude. Uh, Wayne, I'm not sure yet. Most likely Fridays are going to be Car X nights, but like, for example, this Friday, I'm doing a catering thing, so I'm not going to be able to stream at all. Uh, but I plan on starting to stream on the weekends. So I, it's just I'm going to have to really sit down and, and put together a, a schedule. Um, I'm also considering maybe starting streaming at 7 instead of 8. Uh... Just like all like I'm going to sit down. I'm going to hit the drawing board hard and like redo everything. Um, some stuff has kind of already been in the works, like my little graphics right here that rotate underneath me instead of having two separate ones, little shit like that. But. Uh, and I've got a couple other changes like that that I want to make stream wise. And then like we talked about the. Uh, the screen cap idea where I do like a little breakdown on something that I found interesting through the day or whatever for like, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and then, of course, clipping those or, or clipping a highlight and then uploading them to YouTube separately is like a little thing that I could do is for fun. And, you know, um, things like that. But that needs to get baked into the schedule of how is streaming going to work? Uh, so, yeah, I've just got to figure all that stuff out. The Cone, what's going on, Cone man? How have you been, buddy? And I hear Misha out here yelling. I don't know if he is yelling because Charlie's yelling at Dead by Daylight or if he needs to go outside. So I just got to stay straight to get to this next watchtower. I might have to go let the dog out. Yeah, I can hear him crying by the door. All right, let me... Uh all right, let's do this. Stop. Oh, I need to refuel this thing anyway. There we go. She's fueled back up. All right, so real quick. 
Cohen, I'm sorry you just got here and I've got to run and let the dog out real quick. But give me like like five, two or three minutes. I'm going to let the dog out. I'm going to grab another drink. I'm going to be right back. Throw this over to the sexy little break screen we got. Hopefully that's working like it's supposed to since I had to change my audio stuff again. Uh, but we'll see. But I will be right back. Give me uh, literally no longer than five minutes. I'm going to start a little ad break thing too. So sorry for those of you that are just lurking. And uh, you're going to have to hear an ad about how uh, – what are they doing now? I know HelloFresh is starting to do a whole bunch of ad shit again, so they'll tell you how they can send frozen food to your house for you to make meals and shit. I don't know. Uh, Viagra tell you about how they can get you back going. Never mind. I'm <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll see you all in a minute.
we're back. Got another ice cold Pepsi here. Not that they're paying me. But uh, if they wanted to pay me, I could tell everybody how great the refreshing taste of an ice cold Pepsi is when uh, gaming, when driving in the snow in a game such as SnowRunner. Wayne? <laughs> I gotta get that shit figured out to where, because the blurt sound effects thing that I use or whatever, um, <coughs> my bad. Uh, you can do like whenever somebody shows up to a stream, like when they send their first chat message or whatever, it will like play a sound automatically and like you guys can set what that is. I need to set that up for y'all. It just sucks because you have to make an account on their site to do it, which I wish I could just be like, hey, if user XYZ talks in my chat, play this sound, and then I could set the sound. This is definitely not the best vehicle to be doing this, but it's uh, it's trucking along pretty decently. I haven't discovered any other vehicles yet. Why was there a why is there a detour? No, I'm going up here. I don't need no detour. Oh, is that why there's a detour? <laughs> we'll drop this bitch in low gear and we're gonna head on up the hill, son. I'm going to get up this damn hill. But I now understand why it said detour and I should have just listened to the sign. But I'm not very smart. Come on, baby. There we go. Hell yeah, we got up here. Boom, another watchtower. Look at this. How the hell are you gonna have a watchtower and then there's like literally an area with houses on it higher than the watchtower? <laughs> what the hell are they watching? They're just watching in your windows. <laughs> it is a woods bub watching on TV. All right, we got two more. So now we got to head back out of here and go this way. Down by the ooh, rock falls over here. Oh, multiple of them. Oh, this will be fun. Got another hill to go up here. We're going to get the we got to get some speed to go up this guy right here. Apparently not, because you hit a bunch of mud right when you get to the bottom of it. There you go, baby. Get up that hill. Look at this thing eat. Come on now.
You know if I'm going the right direction. I don't care. I'm just driving. First time being in the snow on SnowRunner. DX is back. Perfect timing. God, it's got back too. The dog was whining about needing to go outside. We are chugging along through the snow here, I'm trying to. Pulling over some Christmas trees. Wonder how that got started. Go out and chop down a tree so you could put it in your house, hang a bunch of shit on it and stick presents underneath it. <laughs> Obviously, we don't talk about religion and stuff like that. We don't worry about that kind of stuff. People can do their own thing and enjoy life the way they want to enjoy it. But obviously, that has no uh, basis in any religious anything. There ain't nothing, you know, Jesus ain't say nothing about Christmas trees. There wasn't no, <laughs> there was nothing involved with that in, uh, in any of it. So I've just always wondered kind of why that became a thing. I mean, I'm sure I could just, you know, go on Wikipedia and see the history of the Christmas tree or whatever. I'm sure it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but just like, why did it pick up and become popular? You know, how come some people weren't like, Dad, that's a dumbass idea, and, you know, like. <laughs> uh, DX, no, I do not. Uh, nobody ever knows. Uh, Cause that's kind of a when it's done type of thing as far as I know. Um, and like when they do the betas on PC, those are like a complete surprise too. There's not like, oh, hey, there's something coming. It's just the shit just happens. They do not uh, do much as far as keeping people up to date on that. It's an odd little spot to get stuck right here. There we go. Don't you flip over on me. This is a little top heavy little thing. Talking about clearing up a rock slide. Why clear up the rock slide? Just bring a bunch of dirt up and dump on top of it. Just drive over where the rocks are. <coughs> Just cough on the rocks until they break. Where the hell am I going now? All right, so now we'll go follow this road out and we're headed right here. This thing dancing around all over the place. Some kind of factory or something over here. But yeah, hopefully that new update comes out soon. I'm sure with the amount of uh, content in the update, they have uh, quite a lot to quite a lot of bugs and stuff to work out. Oh, shit.
I made the whole side of this thing, buddy. <laughs> and I mean, obviously, that's why they do the beta release on PC, because you can't test everything. Uh, you just have to release the game and hope that, you know, if anybody else finds the issues, they'll report the bugs and whatever because with the consoles those you know you know the hardware so you can test that in-house make sure it's doing what you want it to before you release it um but like pc stuff they'll never be able to hit every combination of processor and video card that's out there um Especially with new stuff coming out all the time, hardware-wise and everything like that. So this one's probably going to take a little while, but maybe another week or two. Hopefully, not too too long. The hell! It sounds like this freaking abominable snowman is creeping up on me. And this vehicle does not like digging through this snow, man. Also, after I get to these watchtowers, man, I need to find some more vehicles. Like, it says there's a truck stuck right up here. Like, I'm going to try to find some uh, new trucks to drive around. Because I haven't been doing a very good job of unlocking trucks to drive. This thing is slowly digging. We're getting there. So that's like a frozen lake. Oh, I missed a turn. Did I miss a turn? No, I didn't miss a turn. But I just got to dig through the woods right here because I am not going all the way around that frozen lake. I'm going to get stuck in this shit. Good thing there's plenty of trees to winch myself through on. There we go through right here. It gets off the trail and just immediately gets stuck. That's not too bad. We just got to go slowly here. All right. And the trail goes off this way. back on the trail now okay the snow man the snow is even harder than mud sometimes to tell how deep it's going to be because it looks the same on top 
So you can't tell if you're going to be able to drive right through it or if it's going to be a three foot deep mess. Tower. Beautiful snowy mountains here. Can't beat that. All right. What's left? I think we got one more. Way over here and a lost service trailer. All right. So this one. Back this way and down the hill. Easy. That's a mud puddle. I wish there was a mod for this game that turns, turned your winch like white so it was like Spider-Man, like you just shoot out the front. It came out like the driver's window. Turn the thing over. Looks like I'm going to the left. Got our beautiful in-car footage here. a bit of a mud hole look at the creek running along the side right damn this game is pretty man uh-oh this is where i've ended up Sorry, we can get across here with my little mud mud chugging machine.
Oh, there's a watchtower. Duh. It's right in front of me. Right directly ahead of where I am traveling right now. Is where I am going. I don't even know what kind of accents this is supposed to be. It's all of the accents all around the world together into one very stupid sounding individual. He is on your screen right now. And if he ever travels to France, he will say, ha oh, oh, ha oh. <laughs> Because that is what French people say. Boom. We have cleared the map. We can now see everything. So now there's upgrades and trucks around and all this kind of shit. And we need to get them. Upgrade available right over here. That's the first one. So let's go get that one right here. We're going to go through the drilling site to the other side. There's an upgrade awaiting us there. New objective to suffer drowned Hummer. Where is the drowned Hummer? I'm gonna go retrieve it. It's like an oil pipeline. And there's a big ass fuel trailer right there. Cone would play that sound effect for the Alaskan pipeline. <laughs> Don't look up an Alaskan pipeline. <laughs> Shit. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Come on, baby. go we got an upgrade oh drowned hummer is right here right on the other side okay we can get over there there's george what's up dude i was gonna text you but i didn't know how long i was gonna play there so we were gonna switch over to something else and our internet was acting up earlier I didn't know if we were, I didn't know. So I was just like, ah, let me get on here and just kind of mess with it. So we've just been shooting the shit with everybody hanging out. You are more than welcome to come and join in though, if you'd like to. I'm digging around in the snow over here. Oh, you were playing, sorry, you weren't even home. See, perfect. I knew that, totally knew that. Hell yeah. It sounds delicious. We made some uh, chicken Alfredo pasta stuff last night. It sounds delicious, actually. 
Something tells me you just wanted to type the word Bangkok, though. No, 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 don't fall over, no, don't fall over. Lean back that way, all right. Let me just bury the thing real quick. <laughs> it sounds like exactly what we need in our lives right there. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to drag this. is not going <laughs> all right so here's what we're gonna do since i got all the uh watch towers anyway we got a shitload of money don't we yeah eight hundred thousand. we could find us let's get us a, a scout that's good for the snow explore world to unlock the truck is that the hummer that i'm trying to get right now Slayer, what's going on, bud? Internet, yeah, hell yeah. Well, I've already got it on the other map. We ought to buy another one and just keep it on this map. Love that thing, the truck bulance. Thing is too damn good. Where was, let's find that thing. Where have I got that at? Yeah, this guy right here. This is the one, man. Forty grand. You can have one right now for forty grand. We're gonna make one. We're gonna make a snow a snow edition. Here we go. Service cab. You gotta have the snorkel on it. You never know. Autonomous scout, gotta have it. Tires with the chains. Oh, dude, George, come on, man. You ain't gotta do all that, bro. Just jump in here and play. That's what we need. Look at that, hooking the Slayer up. Who I still can't believe has not changed his name back yet. He is all in on this. The the Milf Slayer is all in on the name. <laughs> I love these explosions, dude. I never get tired of that. All right, I will design your dream SnowRunner vehicle. We're going to put the chains on these bad boys right here. I wish we could get these. Where the hell do we unlock these? Install appropriate suspension. Hold on. I have to explore Alaska to find the raised suspension. We have to get that. We have to find it. So that's our first goal is to find the raised suspension for this. There we go. Better power output. Come on. All right, we're gonna get the we're we're gonna go with the chain tires though. You know, for the snow, it's always good. We got the winch we need. We got the service service add-on on the back. What's on the front? We can put the. Got the sunshade. It's the truck bulance. We got to have the flashers on top. Reach rank 18 to get this. Damn it. Look, you got the winch on this one. We'll get this guy.
Look at this, even more. More lights, horns. On here, what, what wheels do we want? These old big boys right here. Colors this bitch gonna be. How about just red? It's freaking fire engine red tearing through the snow or yellow. Yeah. Or do we want to be like camouflaged in the snow? Do we want to hide in the snow? <laughs> Pop out when they least expect it. I like the bright red. You know, he says shit, make it shit brown. We can make it shit brown. There we go. The big brown truck. We can even go with this green, this diarrhea green looking. <laughs> All right, are we going for healthy shit or unhealthy shit? What are we thinking? <laughs> While you figure that out. <laughs> All right, we gotta. They like it dirty. Said, make it red. Okay, I'll make it red. The truck mafia. I don't like dark side. That's pretty sick, actually. Electro moose. <coughs> Look, here we go, the route searcher, and then we'll make it red. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Here we go, some autumn, autumn leaf here. Golden leaf, organic premium pine tree, pine forest. Here, let it snow. There we go. Winter fresh smell. Stickers. Mud. Off-road here. There we go. We got, we've got all of our customers that we have got the truck right here. This is the snow machine. We've got to get the lifted suspension so that we can put the big ass chain tires on it. All right, so let's go, let's find that shit. Where is the upgrade? Here's an upgrade here. How do we know which one is which? Do we not know which one is which? It's going to be whatever the last one we get to. 
All right, so we'll go to this one here. So we're going to come out, make a right, <coughs> and hope we get lucky. Look at this thing, just eat it going through the snow. Look at the power. Just chewing through it, man. We'll stay on the snow just because we can. That's a bad idea, getting back out of the snow. What the hell was happening there? Sprayed shit all over the place. Ah, pipes busted. That's gonna have to get fixed. Never want a busted pipe. How do we get to the other side of it here? Can we go underneath? Looks like we can go underneath. Uh, probably better on this side. Oh yeah, it's so good. <laughs> now is the real test here. Just gotta get in the deep snow, but look, she's eating, man. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's, it really does not want us to go under the pipeline. I mean, it really does not want us to go. <laughs> Come on, baby. Get through it. We're almost through. Good thing we've got a service trailer attached. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Repair it all. She's beautiful again. Turn on beacons. There we go. Well, they're busted, but we got them on. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. All right. Where's this upgrade at? I see, we gotta go up this way. I hope after doing all that damage, this is the up upgrade we need. Look at this thing just eat through the snow, man. So much better than that other one. We're just gonna monster truck over this car right here, and boom. Raised suspension not available for current truck. What do you mean? Man, so we got raised suspension, but not for the truck we wanted. Ain't that about a bitch. That's all right. We're going to go back out, try again. All right, let's find another one. All right, the next upgrade is way over here. Where's the other one? way over there that's gonna be the one i bet it's this one this could be a bitch to get to literally directly on the other side of the map 
Becca, what's going on? Becca says, do you have a son? I do not have no babies. Zero babies, no kids. I have a Misha. Misha is my Misha is my furry son. Wayne. <laughs> I do have a Wayne. That's true. Wayne is my adopted son. My uh, adopted 15-year-old on the other side of the planet son. Yes, exactly. 15. <laughs> Sorry, 12. Sorry, God. No, you can't. You can't be. You have to be 13 to be on Twitch. So, yes, yeah, 13. How about that? How's 13? Just 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 keep it. Keep it on the down low. <laughs> Malte, what's up? How old would you like me to uh, represent my adopted son as there, Wayne? <laughs> You can't adopt 20 year olds. I guess we could say that. We could say I adopted you and you're like 45. Like Malte. That's not as fun, Wayne. How the hell am I going to get all the way? <laughs> And I can't go that way because the damn thing is busted. I'm going to have to destroy the truck to go under the... Fuck. All right, so I guess we are going for this upgrade first. Chart the old path here. Oh, that's right. I had to, like, go through here. Shit. Anyway, Becca, why do you ask? Malte, what's up? We'll plot the whole path here. do it and just to be absolutely ultra sure we're gonna make sure it's full of fuel before we go anywhere I should have been driving this thing from the start, man. Look at that suspension actuation. Act actuation. You know what I'm trying to say? The shit's bouncing. I don't like you. Consider yourself unadopted with your 37 year old self. $1,000 fine for littering. Who the hell is littering in Alaska? There's like seven people in Alaska. It'd be pretty easy to figure out. If you've got a Butterfinger wrapper that got thrown out the window, just go to the town store and be like, hey, Jimmy, who ordered a, who bought a Butterfinger today? Oh, it was Mike. Mike's litter.
Dude, this thing is just traveling along like it's nothing. That other little truck I was in was struggling. This is like the perfect truck for this game. Why should I, I shouldn't play with any other vehicle but this one. I say that and immediately get stuck. I shouldn't have said anything to the game about this at all. What the hell? I was just traveling along fine. And all of a sudden. stuck on uh becca i'm not quite sure yet um maybe tomorrow night not sure um after i stream tonight we were talking about it earlier after i uh am done with stream tonight after we're all done hanging out i'm going to be uh Busting out the whiteboard and trying to come up with a new schedule of how I want to try to uh, how I want to try to do things. And then, yep, no stream on Friday. Me and George got some work to go do. Should be a decent night. Hopefully, it's not too huge of an event for the catering stuff. But we will see. But then, like I said, I'm trying to, to maybe work in some weekend streams. Since now I've got, instead of working on the weekends, I'm doing wrestling training stuff on weekends, which means my nights are freed up. I mean, I guess multi. I've never really tried it. I know you do that stuff through like Kino or whatever, but I really don't know much about it. I don't know how multiplayer works with that either. And also, does it work with like the beta version of the game? I'm down to check some of them out. the hell am I stuck on now? There's like a rock or something under the snow right here in front of me. Nighthawk, what's going on? So there's a tree branch. Yeah, something, something's up under the snow right there. Well, that's all right. Let's see if we can muscle our way. We'll go around the outside. How about that? We'll go around this tree. As we always do here, we're going to make it harder than we have to. <laughs> Neo, what's going on, dude? What you been up to, buddy? Talk about sneaking around. He's been lurking. He's on lurk mode.
All right, here we go. We're making our way through here. Cross old crickety wood bridge. Damn it, now I'm stuck on a rock. So he's been doing some things. Oh, there's the rock. I am definitely stuck on a rock. Uh oh. This isn't good. We're just gonna muscle our way through. ramp up on over that tree branch that was I saw that one I love this truck dude it just goes anywhere it doesn't give a shit at all it's the honey badger of trucks it's the honey trucker look at it it's just like snow with snow there ain't no snow here Digging through here, baby. Hell yeah. Speaking of which, Malte, you trying to get in here? George said he's over there eating his Thai food. He ain't gonna get in here. He's he's enjoying his uh You are always invited. You know these things. Do you have SnowRunner on PC or is that still on your uh, PlayStation? Do you see that little green sword next to your name? <coughs> that is your all-inclusive pass to all games being played on your screen. If you ever see me streaming, playing anything or whatever, your ass is automatically, I am expecting, no, I'm not expecting, I'm just kidding, but you are absolutely welcome to jump in any game I'm ever playing ever, always, all the time. Fire says we gotta stretch it out. I could use I could use old use old stretch nails. Ah. <laughs> get the old, get the shoulder roll in there. Get someone get all of that. <laughs> Feels much better. I appreciate that. <laughs> Excuse me. Got to stop coughing in y'all's ear. I can't help it. It's not that I can't help it, but I, I don't mean to.
damn it of course there's a rock right there I didn't smell what the rock was cooking I love this truck, man. Knight says, is this a scout vehicle? I believe it is. The International Load Star. Engage will all-wheel drive. I knew it. I knew it was going to be the last one. Son of a bitch. Now we have to go from here all the way to hell over to here and I've got to try to find some gas somewhere along the way fuel carrier semi back here so I could go back here to get fuel so there's another one without going back to the garage should I go back to the garage all the way back up here. Should have drug a fuel trailer along with me. Honestly, I wonder if it might not be better to go back and drag the fuel trailer with me. <laughs> Small one. What's the difference in a trailer park and a trailer store? Is there a trailer store? There's a trailer store here. If I can make it all the way over here on gas, I can buy. Let's see if we can do it. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, Knight. <laughs> well, I'll just actually, I'll just get the like the little fuel trailer. And I usually just keep one of those behind because we, uh, our new thing is we're gonna have one of these. We call it the truck be Lance. Uh, Cause this is like our little, it's a service trailer that you can just basically, the, the damn thing will go anywhere, as you can see. Uh, so whenever we screw up and wreck a truck or whatever, we need to fix it. We'll take this to it. And also, it's pretty powerful with the winch and everything like that as well. Um, but it's pretty cool because you can drag a little uh, fuel trailer along behind it. And it basically treats it like it's weightless. What the hell am I stuck on now? So we'll winch this little Christmas tree up out the ground right here. 
There we go. It's on top of a rock or something. All right, we're getting through here. Well, Knight, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to get to the, the raised upgrade for this vehicle that we got the other two upgrades that were on the map, and of course they weren't the one we wanted, so it's the very last one, and it's the farthest away. That is what we're going for. Uh-oh. Things aren't looking good for the home team right here. We're still making some kind of progress. There we go. Come on, baby. Keep digging. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. But that used up like damn near all of our fuel right there. We are not going to make it all the way up there on the fuel that we've got. But the worst we can do is try it and see what happens. Dude, random telephone poles would be the best thing if you could just drop one in the ground <laughs> to use as a winch point. Just have them drop from space. against time over here I don't understand what the difference in a trailer park and a trailer store is maybe there will be a fuel trailer parked at this trailer park I hate to waste the gas to come over here but I want to find out It's saying that this guy needs to go to the trailer park. It's a, uh, <coughs> it's a mission. Okay. I wasted a gallon of gas. <laughs> Knight said he thinks there's one up ahead. Maybe there's one by this factory over here. see over there said so there is one in art I'm gonna trust you because we're running out of gas I hope there's one in here I believe in you Nighthawks gonna save the day hey old service trailer Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm going to drag this thing out from behind here. What the hell, why can't I attach the trailer?
Do that. Alright, we'll stick this bad boy right here on the road. Might be able to use this later on. A good spot for that all right so we are going to keep on trucking hell yeah nighthawk with the with the clutch save right there so now we got to go up around and up the side of the damn mountain let's do it Man, this is what I got these chain tires for. <laughs> There's a route that went up and to the left. I almost wonder if it's better to go that way. We'll get through it. We'll pull over all these little trees. I don't like these little trees. <laughs> we get rid of them. Oh yeah, get rid of that damn tree. I hate Christmas. I'm the Grinch. And steal all the trees. Take this tree too. Get out of here. Get out of here, tree. I'm bringing you with me. No more trees. <laughs> Get this tree too. Get this tree out of here. It's right sink into the ground. Exactly. Just reasons. Don't worry about my 2,000 feet of cable. That shit ain't cheap either. Two hundred feet of it last week was like five hundred dollars or something like that for the uh, when we put the ring ropes together.
That's true. I'm telling you, we need those satellites that have telephone poles in them that just drop them from outer space wherever we need them. Getting rid of these damn Christmas trees. That's my mission is to go around this map and just yank over all. I'm just going to be the Grinch. there Balte and Wayne we're talking about getting on here and I haven't seen nothing about it yet do y'all need the like little share code thing you need an invite what's the uh, what's the story there boys I'll get on here and build some bridges or some other shit. Oh, see, Wayne, that's why you ask Malte ever so kindly to just give you the game. You know, you're your good old buddy, Uncle Malte. I would hook you up, Wayne, but I am currently tapped out in that situation for another six days. We can, uh, we can bake it in with the uh, slide style championship winnings there. Now to the Twitch, to the Twitch paycheck there, Nighthawk. Oh, this is going to be some shit right here. Still still eat. Hell yeah, Wayne. Should still be a decent amount, because like I said, I want to uh split it between the top five, but obviously the winner is gonna get a very large percentage of it. But I'll get that all sorted out because I don't want the person in fifth place to get like, oh, for five dollars. Ha ha. You know, like I want it to be something, you know. And then me and you got to get together on how we want to do your uh, do the shirt. And then I think we're going to I need to look at figuring out. Because I, the more I, th I mean, there's a lot of ideas that I have about the whole thing, but uh, definitely thinking about doing the uh, championship just purely based on points and not doing like a finals type situation. So that way every event is an invite event. And I mean, it'll just be like NASCAR used to be or IndyCar F1 or whatever, where it's like, you could theoretically win the championship with three events left in the season, you know? Hell yeah, Nighthawk, what are you uh what are you looking to get? Oh, Black Friday. All right, so we got to get up on that mountain up there.
I'm a bit biased, but I would vote, uh, I'd vote Team Red all day on that one. Because you're right, the RTX stuff is all of the, the NVIDIA shit going right now is like way too expensive for what it is. Oh, and apparently they're, mount, they're melting uh, power cables too, so you got to be careful about that. I just feel like in the last four or five years, AMD has just been... The better, uh, the best bang for your buck and overall just better quality hardware in my opinion. <laughs> it was not like that for a very, very long time. Uh, like I said, here in the last probably four or five years, they have, uh, they've changed me over. So what's going to be the best way probably to come over like here and then go this way. These damn Christmas trees. <laughs> We definitely have to get back on hunting again too, Malte. That was fun as shit. I'm so bad at it. <laughs> Good grief, is this a climb right here? Look at this truck get up this hill. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. lost my momentum here. Oh, don't do this to me. Come on, baby. That's not the damn upgrade. Hold on. I got all the upgrades on the map and it said that the upgrade is supposed to be on this map for this truck. What the hell?
God damn it, I done did all of that. <sighs> Man, shit. That's all right, we got it done though. <laughs> we got all three of them. Man, that's about a bitch. On to the next one then, I guess Mountain River. Hopefully there's a garage on that map. How we go get over there? <laughs> or can I not get to those until I complete some missions? Oh boy. All right, how do we fix this dam? I can get from right here. Grab our old big boy here because we can. some bigger tires on this bad boy. Here we go, we got a better winch. Look, we got all this, we're hooking it all up. That's a damn crane right there, boy. <laughs> so the flatbed on there. I might do this and then just pull those uh, spare parts. So I don't need a trailer. Service spare parts. That's where we're going. Out of here to the left. And I need two of them. We're going to fix this damn pipeline. Then we're going to get that Hummer. Like at some point when you're dealing with graphics cards that are that heavy if you're not doing any like rendering stuff or anything like that with them i mean you start to get diminished returns on how much power usage they take 
and how much they turn your room into a space heater. I'm so damn happy with this card I got, man. I've got a, uh, a 6600 XT. I got the bits for like 250 bucks or something like that. I've got it undervolted. My room doesn't even get warm anymore. I love this damn thing. I mean, obviously, like, streaming is my main focus, so as long as I can run games on decent settings, stay over 60 frames at 1080p, I'm set. Like, that's all I'm worried about. But You know, I'm not playing Cyberpunk in 4K with ray tracing and all that kind of shit. Like, if that's what you're in for, I mean, that's cool. That stuff's cool as shit, but... As far as what I've got going on, that doesn't really fit me, so I was very lucky to get the card that I got. All right, there we go. Service spare parts. We got two of them. Well, and also the other reason I got this card, too, is the, uh, like, the 6700, like, the benefits between this card and that card were, like, negligible, and it was, like, a $300, $400 price difference. I was like, what, why, what the hell? But I mean, as far as like any games that me or Charlie are gonna play, because she's got a, a 6600 in hers too, not the XT though, just the regular, which also still a decent card. <coughs> I mean, it absolutely gets the job done, does what it needs to do, and any games that she's gonna play, I mean, it's gonna run those incredibly smoothly, so we're happy with that. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely a, uh, I would love to be able to have like an absolute psycho crazy badass card and do all the ray tracing everything like that but at the end of the day with all the the way my stream is set up and encoding and everything like that like i'd be the only one seeing it because the way the stream quality comes out it doesn't make that much of a difference to the people watching the stream i mean hey there we go why run up with the pipe? Why not go down with the road? Or go over the pipe? I don't know. Hey, we fixed that. So that's good. Alright, so we need to take fuel to the port, which we can go get from here. Hell, let's do this one. We're here, might as well. I would love to play on a system that could run something like Cyberpunk at full blast in 4K and everything like that. It would be pretty damn cool to see. Or especially with the, the FSR stuff and everything like that, like you could render the game at like 1440p and then upscale it to 4K or whatever for your display. And with the ray tracing and all that kind of shit, dude, I think that would be so, so cool. So I need to follow the road down, then I'm going to make a right, right here. And I'll be able to get gas when I get there. But yeah, I don't plan on uh, updating my PC probably for another year or two, unless something goes wrong with it, which knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't, but... 
that's the other part of the reason why we were talking earlier. Let me just grind the side of my truck off real quick. Uh, talking earlier about the redoing the stream schedule and everything like that. Like, obviously, I'm lucky enough to be in the position where, like, I kind of do this as, like, my main. This is, like, my everyday. Like, this is, like, my job, kind of. Um, so, to... I, I've got the everything hardware wise that I, my computer is right my both computers I got the little streaming computer I got my main PC like my stuff is set up um, all of the social media stuff all branding all that type of shit my stream room that I have like this room is now finally like as of today literally today is this room is where I want it to be it's complete um, so I'm Pretty, I'm just overall happy with all that. So now it's time to take all the tools that I have and apply it as best as possible to make the stream the best it can be and be able to play as many games with as many people as possible and hang out and have fun and meet new friends and everything like that, such as yourself. But that's kind of the, uh, the going game plan now. So I think I am uh, good to go on PC upgrades and everything like that for at least another year or two. No Christmas trees, get out of here. I need to look at my motherboard specs. The only thing I would like to upgrade with my current system is uh, my memory. It needs to be, I need faster memory. But that's like such a minuscule like performance. Like it's not gonna drastically impact anything going on. It's more of a peace of mind kind of thing. So I don't really feel like I'm maximizing what the processor and the board can do because the memory I've got was because memory was really expensive when I got it, so it's kind of shitty. Fuel loaded in the back. Man, throw in the uh, the old sideboard bed on this thing was a good idea. Getting all kinds of shit done. And we got the crane in case of emergencies. All right, we're filled up on fuel. Now we just got to go over here, hang a right. And then head to the port. I don't really plan on it, Wayne. Why? Yeah, it's only quarter after 11. <laughs> Answer my mom back real quick. Hang on. game would you like to play Wayne? because i would be down to switch to something else because i was hoping that some guys would be able to get on but jay was rocking on something else and like george said he was playing soccer and everything earlier on and then eating some food and i think he's just chilling for the night Who's has already been stolen from us? I 
I could play some, uh, I could play some paladins. And crush us some bots. The hell am I stuck on now? Yeah, let me deliver this stuff and then we'll play us some paladins. Do some more sniping. I know it's got to be kind of boring for those that uh, watch that, that aren't playing with us, because it's like when you play like a hero. Sh I don't know. Is this like a thing for people? Because I know like you, everybody has like their main in games like that. But I feel like if you stream a hero shooter type game, do people like want you to switch up and do different stuff or whatever? Because I'm just, I don't know. I mean, you guys know me, so y'all know I'm not a, a hero shooter guy. So I'm just going to pick the closest thing to Counter-Strike possible and, and just rock that. Uh, but. Oh, shit. Can't go this way. Well, damn. What do we need to do for the bridge? Show task. What do we need for bridge repair? Metal beams. I'll have to get those in the warehouse. Is there any way that I could just like crab walk on across this river somewhere? not have to it does not look like it's shit Head back up our mountain road here. Ah, night. No, we can get across if we go this way. <laughs> I keep coughing in y'all's ear. That's killing me. So, night. I used to. Ha I had like my headset with the little. Oops, what am I doing? This little. The little guy. Little microphone like pulls out or whatever. This was my like microphone for a while. And I actually had another mic in the uh, in the room up here actually to like. I'm like a sound guy it's kind of one of my one of my many ridiculous hobbies that i've had over the years of doing music recording all that kind of stuff so i had like a uh, room mic and then the like direct mic and everything like that so i kind of got you know if i'd cough i'd have to of course cover my mouth or whatever but try to block the microphone like this to keep it out of people's ears but now that i have the you know dynamic mic in place it's right where it needs to be and everything like that i can just turn over here and you hear the volume go down when you turn away from it. So, like, I can cough that way. But yet, I, I'm still in the habit of just doing that. <laughs> so, I keep coughing in everyone's ear. I can't wait till it's gone. I hate it when you're sick for, like, a week, but then you have a lingering cough for, like, a month. And not to be gross, but, like, for no reason. Because, like... You know, especially in the morning or whatever, you go take a shower or whatever, I can get some stuff up. You know, like I can, I get it out. So like my lungs, I feel like should be clear. Why the hell am I still coughing? Like, cause now it's just a dry, like, eh, there's nothing happening. You know, kills me. If there was something going on, I'd understand, but there's nothing going on. It's like when your allergies hit you and your nose runs like a faucet for like a week for no damn reason. <laughs> I hate it. truck is ridiculous. I love this thing. <laughs> Shut up, Wayne. 
I'm still trying to figure out if I want to switch over to a different set of uh, the headphones. My like my open back, my old studio headphones that I used to run because I can't hear my own voice through these. But I love these so much. They're so comfortable, and they sound good as shit. And of course, it's Steel Series, and y'all know how much of a hard on I have for Steel Series stuff now. So. Man, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, that sucks, Nighthawk. See, I'm one of those people that, like, I never get sick. I never have a cough or I don't do allergies. Like, I can go out and, like, the pollen and all doesn't bother me in the fall with the leaves. You know, I go out and blow the leaves and all that dust and shit go up in there. All of that, none of that stuff bothers me. I'm very lucky. I'm one of the, cause especially when I was younger, I was always outside and, like, doing dumb shit, getting all, sucking in all kinds of dust and everything like that. So I guess my body just got used to it. Um, so, like, when I do have, you know, I like, I, like I said, I got the, you know, had the flu last week. Uh, first time I've never had the flu in my whole life. Uh, it sucked. Um, all right, we think it was the flu. We don't have confirmation on that. We're pretty sure it was the flu. It wasn't COVID. We know that. And it was very. I've had COVID twice, and it wasn't. It was not that. Trust me. Uh, not much of a comparison either, because some people would say that COVID is like the flu. In, in my experience, not at all. Uh, very, very different situations there. Uh, but that's just me personally. But I, anyway, like I'm saying, so I never get sick ever. So like when I do, it is the end of the world. Charlie hates because see, Charlie's sick, but she's always got like a sniffle or a cough or so. She's got something going on all the time. So it's just like nothing to her. She doesn't really think about it. It's just living life. Me, if I've got a little cough or sniffle or something, oh my God, I hate it. I'm just miserable. It's like my face hurts and all that. I can't stand it. <laughs> Oh shit, do not fall off of this bridge right here. <coughs> so I can be like that. Spew it all through the roof. I didn't want to let go of the controller because I was driving. <laughs> Finally, we're almost there. Just got to keep going. Well, what the hell? Am I going to go all the way around this way? Can I, like, accept this mission while I'm over here? Or? Is old undisturbed dust. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, that type of shit doesn't bother me at all. It's crazy as hell. I get a whole face full. I go up in the attic and mess with something or whatever, get a whole face full of it. Does not do a damn thing to me. So wait, I've just got to take this truck from right here and drive it up the hill. That's it. That's all I have to do. I can do that. Just park this one right here. Why can't I switch to it?
I have to put it on like a trailer and drag it up there. the hell why can't i switch to the truck is it saying that i'm not close enough to it or something i know nighthawk it says i need to deliver it to the uh the guy up on the hill. Do I, what, do I have to drag it there with a winch? I can't drive it. Oh, this just says his family left town. They abandoned their truck. It doesn't say the engine's dead. I guess they took their... Uh, did they take the keys with them? <laughs> I am not... Well, how long of a damn trip is it up there? I don't know. Because I got to drag it back across. But nope. come back to that another day because I'm going to drop this off and I think we're going to go play some Paladins. Wayne, how are you uh, How are you in Malte? How are you guys enjoying your uh, engine swaps there? I might go through the uh at least until the the main update comes out i might uh at least go through the process to get the uh that twin turbo v6 and the uh 180 sx i think that'd be pretty damn cool and then i'll just keep tweaking on the tune for that one and kind of learn how the new stuff works no i ain't trying to do that today man <laughs> trying to shoot at some stuff today you said paladins. I got hype for paladins. All right, what the hell? Where did my mission that I was doing go? This one. Charlie. Wee, wee, wee. What's up? Wee, wee, wee. I'm dead inside. Why is that? I'm tired. In my head is Mr. Molly me. is here. Yes. I brought Tamale. Well, just in time for us to switch over to a different game. <laughs> oh, yeah? We're going, what are you uh, switching to? I believe me and Wayne and... Did, didn't you steal Akuza from us? Where's Akuza? I did not steal Akuza from you. Wayne said you stole Akuza from me. Akuza came willingly, okay? First a of all, likely story. Wayne's over here spewing some lies. You hear that, Wayne? You're spewing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh get it together. We we're uh, we we're thinking about playing a little bit of a uh, little paladins, and maybe we can get a hold of Mr. Akuza now. Oh, it's Molly. You already know. <laughs> there he is. 
My man heard us talking about him. Are we uh who's are who's down? Are we down for some uh some paladins action? Anybody? Tamal, have you ever played paladins? Come shoot at stuff with us. It's like Overwatch, but better. Nah, with oh come on, all the time you spend playing with with Miss Charlie and hanging out over there with her and everything with her stream, of course I had to drop the old little little VIP action yeah. on you. You guys get rewarded for babysitting me. <laughs> she's, she's, she's right. <laughs> uh, they do not babysit me. I babysit uh, myself. To my, that's why I say it's better than Overwatch. I'm not a hero shooters guy. Uh, Akuza managed to get me hooked on Paladins. I I love it. I hate. I, I don't want to say I hate hero shooters. It's just not my thing. Uh, these guys all know that. They've heard it a million times. But yeah, it's not my thing. Uh, but for whatever reason, the way that Paladins plays, because I mean, a it's just like really lighthearted and fun, and it's a good time. But like it has this card system so like you can your the different heroes have like these they have their skills or whatever just like any hero shooter but then just like, stealing Woo! Damn, wheel of yeah, dealing yeah. limousine like jet flying, <laughs> jet flying. Son, of a, son of a gun and i'm having a hard time <laughs> holding these alligators down Woo! i just realized my camera is like slightly rotated and it's bothering me um but there's like this card system where you can like change different specs and aspects of like your your heroes to load out based on the the skill that you select it's, it's this whole thing but it makes it so much fun you basically can build out your own style of hero to go play with and it's it's a really good time so well if you want to check it out hang out for a minute and we will switch over one thing that i need to do is restart the router because I have been dropping frames left and right all night and our internet has been weird as shit for the past few hours. So I'm going to stop the stream, restart the router so don't go nowhere. And uh, we will be back in a minute. So let me, we'll switch over to this here. I still haven't changed any of this yet. So like I said earlier, for those of you that are hanging out right now, all of this is changing. Well, that's not. Well, maybe, maybe that 8 p.m. will change. I don't know yet. But we are going to, uh, we're going to be redoing the schedule coming up here starting next week. So maybe even this weekend, actually. So we'll get that squared away. But yeah, pay no attention to any of this except for this part. Follow Rapid Fire Charlie. But I'm pretty sure everybody that's already yeah. here is already following Rapid You're Fire Charlie. You're wiggling, jiggling, and wiggle. Do that. I'm almost to 200, guys. I'm so Hell excited. Hell yeah, we got to get you there. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> hell no, no, no. Wayne is spoken. Oh, you, Wayne. No, no. Okay, Wayne uh, is I'm going to go shower. All right, Charlie's going to take a shower. All right, well, I'm going to restart the router and everything like that, so we're going to be right back, so don't go nowhere. Stay right here. Keep keep Alex on your screen. Go watch. Uh, oh, well, we didn't. When's the last time we played? Uh, look, at, look at the last VOD of when I played Paladins. And uh, you can get a little feel for how it works, and then we'll be right back here. I guess if you're if, if you're watching of Avad, and then I start live, does it like take over? I don't know. Don't go nowhere. I've been Alex. I've been on your screen. Work. I'm gonna restart the router. I'm gonna park my ass right back in this chair, and we're gonna play Paladin. So I'll see y'all in just a minute. Don't go nowhere. Be right back. Just a minute. <laughs> 